So this is day three at the site. Uh, we just got hold of these new casings. Uh, the, they'll put these into the 300 feet hole they drilled uh, last night. And hopefully today will be the day that they're able to access the water underground. It is no secret that there isn't enough clean drinking water in many parts of Pakistan. In my village, uh, Jul, which is near Chakwal, is very similar in this regard. So you know that the water you are drinking is clean or not, or you boil it first? No, boil it first. 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 पाइपिंग रे भाई जिस तरह है वो तो हम जब तक उसको प्रॉपर टेस्ट नहीं करेंगे ना किस पाइप में कोई पाइप तो जो हमने यूज किए हैं वो तो सर्टिफाई है उनका मसला नहीं है पाइप अच्छी क्वालिटी है ना कि हमें तो प्रॉपर या तो पानी ये पहले दिन बाद अवेलेबल ही नहीं है मेन चीज जो है इट्स पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन नेचर houses with some 1500 people has learned in its own way to get used to a lack of water, a lack of clean drinking water. They're relying on getting tanks, um, which apparently not more than 20 people can afford in this village. They're relying on board well water, uh, which is salty for the most part. So today we're bringing on a new, we're starting a new journey to deal with those problems. Uh, so it's currently 10 10 p.m. and as you can see behind me that's the drilling machine it's been going at it for the past 10 hours and it'll continue like that for the next few um, what these guys are doing is that they're changing their uh, support system every 10 uh, meters every 10 feet and they'll go down until 300 feet. That's where they say the clean water is. Um, and hopefully we'll get there in the next five hours and that's when the puddle that you see behind us will start getting clean water. Um, and that's when we'll, we'll stop and we'll put in the right filters and extract the water. Uh, so we'll be here for, for tonight and we'll continue working on this. Uh, so the solar water pump essentially bypasses the dependence on electricity um, and it ensures around 4,000 liters of water per day, which is enough for, I'd say, 400, 500, maybe even 1,000 people when this becomes a daily activity, when people know that water availability has been secured. So the batteries are in and all they're doing now are giving final touches to the whole thing. The batteries have been charging for a few hours, so we should have plentiful energy to power the water from the bore into that water tank, despite having not that much sunlight at the moment. And that's the good thing about this project, because people will be able to take water